So today we're going downstairs to get some breakfast. Well, we already have it, but we have to go downstairs to eat it with our family. Family left us this morning. I set my alarm for 5.44 a.m. And, um, well, it's 10 p.m. So, or a.m. So technically I didn't do that bad, but like I'm kind of five hours late. That's what the beach looks like this morning. So yeah, let's go eat breakfast. In Alice and I's shock, we didn't really explain what was happening, but we saw this bird with, like, this fish in its talons, but, like, it couldn't stand up or fly or what? It's standing up right now, Danielle. Oh, my God. But it couldn't fly away, and it was kind of depressing because, like, it was just sitting there, and we thought a lifeguard was going to come to help, but then she didn't, so it was kind of up to us to save the bird, so, of course, I filmed it. But the bird is moving. Oh, Allison, you literally just stood in front of the camera when you see her. I really think the other one's stuck. <laughs> we can shake it off. <laughs> it's so funny. Oh my gosh, he did it. I'm so proud of him. Oh. Ew. Eh. Ew. Well, the fish is dead. No way, really? It's a big fish though. Yeah. Mainly just getting this one in. <laughs> there are fish out there. The water did it! Oh my gosh! Thank you. Oh my god! Oh, there's a big fish. What happened to its head? And now it won't even get eaten. It's just gonna lay here and rot. I don't know if I feel more bad for the fish that died for literally no reason or the bird that had to keep trying just for no result. I mean, we watched this bird all day and he did not get one bite of food. Oh, that was kind of a spoiler. Sorry. So he comes back around and swoops down and eventually he actually picked up the fish, but he dropped it in the ocean when a wave hit him. So that fish is probably still rotting at the bottom of the ocean to this day, which is kind of depressing. Not going to lie. And this bird, he probably went hungry. Well, he did, but that's okay. Okay. So we're out on the beach. Allison was fishing, but uh, the current took her like line, I guess, all the way up to shore. So, uh, it's probably not the best weather to, like, swim in, but also, like, kind of terrified at sharks at the moment. And last time she went here, which was, like, two weeks ago, she got bit by a jellyfish or stung by a jellyfish. So, like, I'm not really feeling the water just yet. I might have to warm up to it. Also, it's freezing, so that also plays something into it. Anyway, uh, it looks really good. I, however, do not. Goodness gracious, Danielle. Uh, not really feeling the hat, but my mom's making me wear it, so don't tell her that I just took it off right there right now. Allison's gonna hit me with this pole. I'm not gonna hold the pole, I'm vlogging. Let's see. I'm gonna raise the water. <laughs> I'm going to die of hypothermia. Oh, look at the bird. Let's go say hi. He really doesn't like me, goodness. So here's the whole, uh, oh, look at this. These are my favorite, oh. Well, it's broken, but when they're not broken, they're really cool, and I like painting on them. Not that I've ever done that, but I feel like I will. Okay guys, this is my biffle Brian. We had to pause the video for a second because y'all don't know who this is. Um, this is my grandmother's neighbor, which is fun. He doesn't know about the vlog, so if he ends up seeing this, I'm sorry, I guess. But uh, we've caught a crab, and that's what we're doing here. We're releasing it, I guess. I should talk to you because it's chasing me. Or, um, but, but maybe crab? I caught one with my hand. I saw him crawling in my hand. Mm -hmm. And then he just started picking up his well, that's great. <laughs> Where'd he go? So we're in this place called American Pie. I also got some ice cream and then I got some ice cream. Okay, so this fish, before you guys come at me saying that I shouldn't put him in a bucket, well, um, he was dying on the shore, and if I wouldn't have saved him, then he would have died, so don't come for me. Also, there was this weird snake thing that we also caught. Um, not sure what that was, but it was alive, so. Isn't that cool? Hey guys, okay, so it's a little bit later, uh, and I know it's really dark out now, so you're probably like, well, Danielle, what are you doing outside? Well, okay. There's this thing that I do and it's called crabbing. And basically what you do 
is you don't like go out to, into the ocean and like crab because like that's too much work. Uh, you, you walk on the sand and try to find the little crabs and then you look at them. Sometimes you can catch them in a bucket, but um, I'm bucketless at the moment. Anyway, it hasn't been that long since I last talked to you guys, but it seems like it's been very long. So I'm just gonna catch you up to speed. I took a shower and I also went to the pool. I guess it has been quite a few hours, but it doesn't matter. Um, we just came out. Over there you guys can see all the other people that are coming. Um, I'm sure they're getting a lot more things than I am because I'm not even, I'm not catching anything. Usually, um, I am a friend that does this with me, but uh, I don't have one this time. So I guess I'm just kind of alone, which is fine. I don't care. You know? No idea. Okay. See you later. They wouldn't wow. turn around. They should not have gone out. I made your best day. of it, though. I caught okay. the biggest fish. I got the prize. Don't you want my prize? <laughs> it was a prize. <laughs> it was. It was. I'm going, I want my fish. Give me my fish. <laughs> but when you lay down on the boat, when you lay down on the where they had been, I I turned around. lay down. Oh, she's bad. <laughs> This is not good because you were holding your hair. You didn't want your hair to get in it. Like, you were like, <laughs> and you kind of, you kind of laid down with your hair coming up like that. <laughs> If that made no sense to you, don't worry, I'll catch you up to speed. So apparently my mom and my grandma B went on like some fishing trip or something. Oh, I have the hiccups. That's not good. Anyway, some fishing trip or like some cruise thing. I don't even know. But they went on a boat out, out on a boat for like a couple hours or whatever. And apparently uh, it was really choppy out. So everyone on the boat got seasick. And my mom was laying on where they cut open the fish so that she could lay down um but my mom was very particular about her hair so she held her hair out of the way which is like such a my mom thing to do you know what i mean and uh my yeah it was a situation i don't know i can't tell it as good as they did but that's just it was a story time i don't know i thought it was funny so i kept it in <laughs> the authorized personnel only door has been open all night anyway so we're going back up to bed because, because you don't want something like crawling well, I mean, it's their fault for leaving it open. They hired our, or they fired our favorite maintenance guy. His name was Vito. Uh, shout out to Vito. I don't know why I said it like that. His name is just Vito, not Vito. But uh, sometimes, you know, you want to add emphasis to what is anyway. So we're going upstairs. Um, and we're just going to chill out, go to sleep. Uh, there's people crabbing still. I did not catch any crabs because... I did not have someone to hold my bucket. Yeah, that's why. Okay, vlog. It's currently 12 a.m. My family hates me because I'm terrible at falling asleep. And I make sure that no one else will fall asleep either. But that's it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching today's vlog. It's just true today's vlog. <laughs> make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And also remember, don't get eaten by a shark. Okay, bye. Love you guys. Allison does not love you. But that's okay. I love you. I'm pretty... Okay, okay.